So I became aware of this from an audio recording where this guy allegedly had access to secret documents. That being said, this might be true, this might not be true, but I thought it was worth considering. Before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my new live stream YouTube channel, definitely check it out. We're doing a live stream tonight, Thursday, and we do live streams every Tuesday night as well as Saturday afternoons. So the overall idea is that too many people have realized what they are going to do, what the new agenda is, why I'm about to crucify these assholes that are honking on my street, ruining my video. Uh, so the systems have been put in place for this new world government to happen. And the main reason, the main excuse is going to be under financial collapse. Oh, uh, the economy is destroyed. In order to save it, we need a new global currency. And this is going to tie in with that new global world government. But they can't do that right now because there are millions of people, an estimation of about 15 million in the United States, that are aware and will oppose this. In this audio recording, this guy spoke about two projects. I'll call them Project P and Project Z. So Project P has to do with YouTube influencers, social media, although he did mention it was specific to YouTube. Uh, so we know there are many mainstream narratives that are being promoted by special interest funded paid influencers, you know, the carnivores and the vegans, for instance, and there's other things on a much larger scale. But there's also the controlled opposition, people pushing the alternative narrative, pretending to be against the mainstream, but they're actually a part of it. And a lot of the information may actually be true, but the goal of these truth channels is to track people. Anyone who watches or supports these channels is in that list of 15 million people. They create these YouTube channels in order to track the opposition, gather the information from people like you and me, their email address, their name, where they live, and that's already been done, guys, so there's no point in, in worrying about it. Project Z is the elimination of these people, and we know how easy that's going to be, you know, with how quickly the sheeple fell into this Toyota Corolla nonsense and how they're letting paramedics take people out of their homes without letting visitors go with them so they can bag up their families. It's pretty easy to cover up the removal of millions of people when you control the media. We know that, you know, the injections are a possibility, maybe the release of the Toyota Corolla again, and we know they have the Wi-Fi infrastructure set up that can target people. You have weaponry installed on every street corner in every neighborhood. Of course, they can focus on the house of a particular person. And by all means, they can be more direct. There are going to be alleged blackouts where the power will go out for days at a time. If a bunch of people happen to disappear in these blackouts, there's no way for anyone else to find out. They can erase you off the map. These sheeple, the herd, the majority of Americans will essentially cause their own downfall. Maybe it's because they're so naive, because they refuse to open their own minds, or simply aren't intelligent enough to look past the mainstream propaganda. And the people that are intelligent enough to do so, like you and myself, again, aren't going to be here anymore. And the sheeple echo chamber will be the only thing remaining. You see how stupid and horrible these people are. They're posting on social media in blasphemy about how people are outside and enjoying themselves in this pandemic, claiming that by staying inside, locked up like a scared rat, they're making each other safe. You're a bunch of cowering cuck pussies that deserve to be locked in your homes. It's absolutely comical. The people in charge know how stupid these sheeple are, know how pussified they are, and that if they simply eliminate all of the intelligent and aware people, you know, those other people wouldn't even blink twice. I bet if you shot a lamb in front of a bunch of other sheep, they'd go back to eating grass in a few minutes. Same thing with the mentality of the majority of Americans. And of course, the American public can't be to blame because you have a very large percentage of people, I would say probably thousands and thousands of special interest influencers that are guiding these people along the way, playing along to the narrative, this is cool, this is good, I'm just a famous rich person and I'm in the same scenario you are. So what does this actually mean? You know, what is physically gonna happen? Hypothetically, around late 2020, early 2021, there will be millions of deaths, probably food shortages, craziness, riots, increase in crime, plenty of unintentional victims. That is, if this is all true. 
You know, the overarching problem is how easy it is to make up a fake health event in which anyone opposing it is very difficult. And right now, anyone saying things that go against what the mainstream is saying, these government organizations, is allegedly dangerous and misleading and needs to be taken out. It, it's completely ridiculous censorship by these privately funded organizations that have blatant special interests. The government is doing a bunch of absolutely crazy stuff. You know, stripping our constitutional rights, taking away our freedoms, pretty much martial law, passing various bills, crashing small businesses, taking away our jobs, making our currency worthless. How am I supposed to pay my Russian girls now? Just about anyone would stand up against that, but throw a Toyota Corolla blanket over it, the fear, the hysteria, and suddenly everyone's obeying. It's absolutely despicable. And unless people spread the message about what's going on, we don't have a chance. I should make a video. Someone said that more people committed suicide uh, last week than people that died of the, uh, the Toyota Corolla. Uh, it's, it's completely ridiculous. You might as well have people out and about and uh, doing whatever they want. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Uh, hopefully this doesn't scare you, but it's uh, you know definitely something on the table and I wanted to hear uh, if any of you guys knew about it as well. Uh, but either way, I take things day by day and I try to keep things positive. Uh, if you guys want to support me, please do uh, share the channel. You know, I mean, this might really be it because, you know, right now my videos are getting heavily, heavily, like, reduced view counts. And even my day of eating video yesterday, you know, I, I don't know what's going on. I think uh, someone's watching my channel. So, you know, could I have not talked about this stuff and gone along with it with everyone else? Yeah, but uh, I think this situation is too crazy and too dire. And everyone that, you know, has the courage to speak up needs to do so. Uh, so if you guys want to support me further, uh, you know, definitely tune into the live stream later. Uh, that's going to be uh, tonight, Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you guys then. Uh, the new channel in the description below. Hopefully we don't get taken down again.